This research is very interesting because it shows that proton beam therapy is as effective as conventional radiotherapy. But the, the main thing is that we have fewer side effects. One of the problems with conventional radiotherapy is that you get collateral damage. You get damage around the tumour as well as just irradiating the tumour itself. And in fact, the beam of light goes right through and damages the tissue beyond. So you have significant side effects both in the short term and in the longer term. But with proton beam therapy, you don't have these side effects or they're minimised because you're just hitting the tumour. You don't get as much damage to the surrounding tissue. So while you may have some side effects in the longer term, these aren't as severe and you have an increased quality of life, an improved quality of life for people who have undergone the therapy. In this study, they had 59 patients who were undergoing proton beam therapy and they compared this with people who had previously undergone normal radiotherapy. So there is an error, there is the potential for an error between looking at current patients and historical um, patient records. So again, what needs to be done is this study being carried out in parallel with the existing radiotherapy, so it's done in real time. Once we understand this therapy better by doing further studies, we can identify individual patients who will react best. And then we can look at the overall cost. So it's not just the cost of the therapy, but it's the long-term cost. Somebody who has the therapy, but they need to be followed up with other drugs, with other treatments. But if there are fewer side effects, there will be less follow-up. And you need to consider all of that when you're looking at the cost. Not just the cost of the individual therapy, but the overall longer-term implications.